uh, relativity for North America. The date today is September 10th, 2024. <clears throat> Shalom. 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 Greetings. I am Giuliano. We are the Octurians. Perhaps some of you have memories of past lives in other incarnations and on other planets. I know that many of you are galactic anthropologists, which means that you glad, gladly study other planetary systems in the Milky Way galaxy. Some of you have even experienced the trauma of a planet self-destructing or you have seen the effects of how a planetary inhabitants neglect interacting with the spirit of the planet, which will result in stronger storms, earthquakes, and in some cases even asteroids striking a planet. It is true that 65 million years ago, an asteroid struck the Yucatan Peninsula, destroying an estimated 90% of plant and animal life. But it is also true that the Earth and Gaia are flexible and have great resilience and we're able to reintegrate the biosphere. But that also took millions of years to reach this point. The idea is that the planet must have a built up of resilience so that inputs of a negative nature <clears throat> will not throw Gaia off balance. It is the same with you. When you have a built-up of resilience in your aura and in our energy field, then you're able to integrate and deal with an external stress. But what happens when there are multitudes of stresses to a planetary system, can it break the biosphere's resilience? And the answer is yes, it can break the resilience. But on the other hand, if there is external help, <laughs> such as from the Octarian star seeds who work with the new sphere, work with the planetary systems, then Gaia as a system increases its ability to be resilient. But sometimes there is a tipping point in which the external implosions become more than what the spirit of the planet can handle. And I would say that the asteroid striking the Yucatan Peninsula 65 million years ago was such a blow. But is there now such a blow that the Earth is going to have trouble bouncing back or the Earth is going to lose its resilience? And the answer the Arcturians 
give is not on our watch. We are committed to working with you and providing new spiritual technology for planetary healing. So today we will work together and remember that the most important part of our meditations for Earth resiliency lies in our ability to increase our arcane thought power when we are meditating. It's a delicate balance between allowing your thoughts to increase intensity versus effort or trying too hard. Because if you try too hard, then you become tense, and it blocks the flow of the arcan energy. So you have to find a balance, but I know you can and will, between allowing and focusing and using your intention. These are very powerful tools in our planetary healing meditative work. So take three deep breaths. Go deep within with alertness, attention, and reach that state of deeper consciousness that I call spiritual relaxation, where the spiritual energies and your natural psychic gifts flow effortlessly into your subconscious and conscious mind. I, Giuliano, from my fifth dimensional starship Athena, send down a corridor of light from my starship to each of your rooms who are listening or reading this meditation now. Receive that corridor of light. Oh. are in a deep trance and state of spiritual relaxation, command your spirit to rise up from your crown chakra and enter the corridor of light that I have sent down to you. Feel your etheric body Bathe in the light of the corridor and command it and it will travel at the speed of thought directly to my starship. You arrive at my starship Athena, where I and Helio are together, greet you at the doorway. We embrace, for it is with deep love and respect that we welcome you. You are special starseeds who understand the interdimensional worlds and the importance of working interdimensionally at this time of Earth crisis. You walk down the hallway, and there is the beautiful doorway into the Gaia Planetary Healing Room. You walk into the room, and you see the holographic image of planet Earth 
zoomed in on North America now. You take a seat or sit cross-legged on pillows, whatever is comfortable for you, around the holographic image of North America. And we zoom in and we see again the fires, the many fires over North America. Shocking, especially in September, to see so many fires still raging, out of control, smoke polluting the environment, trees and homes possibly being destroyed, creating confusion for wildlife. Very uncomfortable situation. I send down a white screen of light And on that white screen, we are going to project the following affirmation. Send moisture to all areas in North America which are experiencing fires, helping to extinguish them immediately. Place those words you can modify them to your own understanding. The intention should be the same. Place those words on the white screen and emblazing them in red letters as we go into deep meditation. And I want you to use your arcane power to deeply connect and use your focus. Allow your focus to strengthen that affirmation. We'll go into silence. Now, to the best of your ability, pick individual areas such as Canada, Oregon, Los Angeles, any area where you know there are dryness and fires, and visualize the weather report and map that you would see on the television if you were living in that area and see green representing moisture. See the green visualization used in weather reporting representing the moisture coming to that area. So choose an area, or if you're multi-level, choose all the areas and see that happening now. We'll go back into meditation. Increase your arcane thought power. 
intensify. Oh, we take your affirmation energy work on the screen and the visual TV imagery that you developed. And I download it now into the Earth feedback loop system and newosphere. Sending our powerful energies to influence and create the conditions that will extinguish these fires. Now, we take another look at the North America and we see the aura of North America and also we can call it the electromagnetic energy field. There are hooks in the aura over North America. There are holes in the aura. There are attachments. There are what I call ragged edges of energy so visualize with me now on the holographic image that the electromagnetic energy field of the North America is becoming smooth and that all negative attachments are released and that the ionosphere and the layers, the D layer, the E layer, the F layer, all the layers of the electromagnetic energy field around North America are strengthening in a positive way with resilience. Visualize that now as we go back into meditation. Very good. Now, we place a golden dome of light over all of North America, including Mexico, Canada, the United States, Puerto Rico, Hawaii, any other area, Alaska. And in this dome, I am filling up with golden light of balance and harmony so that all unwanted polarizations energetically, electromagnetically that are creating imbalances in any living spirit are hereby neutralized. And it's like a mist of golden light that is permeating all of the North America's etheric energy field, neutralizing the negative polarization energy field from wherever it is coming from. See that golden mist neutralizing the electromagnetic negative polarization now. We'll go back in meditation.
the mist of balance and harmony will remain for 24 hours underneath this beautiful etheric dome. Finally, we look at the Gulf Coast and the Louisiana coastline areas and see the beginning of a hurricane coming towards the Louisiana coastline in nearby areas. With our visualization and energies, let us see the television imagery that you often see on the nightly news of the hurricane coming and see the hurricane spreading out and weakening. See it losing strength and being downgraded to a tropical storm. See it becoming more mild. Use your arcane thought power. Create that imagery now. Hold that image of a weakening storm spread out losing its intensity. Oh, oh. And so it shall be. You have worked hard today with us. It's time to leave. Know that this image is now downloaded into the Earth's feedback loop system, the image of the hurricane being lessened in strength. You stand up and prepare to leave the Gaia Planetary Healing Room, looking again at the holographic image of North America and seeing the golden mist of light under the etheric dome we have placed. You walk down the hallway, come to the corridor of light from which you came. Enter that corridor and travel now at the speed of thought back into your physical body in the room from where you started. You arrive six feet above your physical body. You're filled with light and the golden mist of balance and harmony is in your aura as well. Download yourself with that energy back into your physical body. You may open your eyes and return to normal consciousness. I am Giuliano. Good day.